Always great to catch up with Charlie Clark of the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Uh, an interesting week ahead as Hilton Head's part of the big pie. This is what national tour travel and tourism week. Right, it is. It is. Okay. I think it's travel and tourism week every week here <laughs> on the island, especially now that we're getting towards summer. Um, but it is separate. It is something special nationwide. How does Hilton Head fit it? Well, we just think it's important to shine the spotlight on it. Yeah. Uh, you know, we all know here we go. You know, here we go. We're coming into uh, the busy summer visitor season. It's always been here, probably mm -hmm. always will be. Mm -hmm. um, it's why over 80% of us were visitors before we got here, right? So we know it happens with the summer. But it's just a great time, I think, to remind folks. We like to remind our community that what a positive, amazing impact it has on your quality of life, my quality of life, when it comes to a $2.8 billion economic impact. Repeat that number. 2.8 billion, billion with a B. With a B. And that's jobs. That's, yeah. You yeah. know, that's jobs. That's your neighbor. And as we like to say, you know, we're all in the travel and tourism industry. I spoke to an attorney who said, oh, I'm not in travel and tourism. I go, well, wait, who's your, who are your clients? Yeah. You know, or a banker, whomever it may be, or a teacher who's teaching those students in their schools. So, you know, we forget sometimes, I think, that some of the things we all enjoy, whether it be beach renourishment, mm -hmm. lower taxes, you know, in many communities, beach renourishment is something that they kind of work toward how are we going to pay for this? And it comes out of resident pockets. And that's not the case here. Thanks to travel and tourism, it's all paid for by visitors. Yeah, the, the visitors, I mean, the, the, that business, that $2.8 billion, that's, again, that's outside money, a lot of it coming in that ends up getting taxed, that ends up getting turned back into correct. It turns into amenities for tourists, amenities for tourists. You know, the rest for of us. for vi yeah, for residents. That's yeah. the thing. You know, we've we've surveyed residents, as you know, we did a tourism sentiment survey in mm -hmm. the heat of the summer to find out how visitors really feel about tourism and their thoughts on it, and just get the kind of check the pulse of the community on that. And it was interesting when we asked the question of of what do you think are the top benefits of tourism? We thought it might be sort of the it's it's lowering your your taxes, mm -hmm. you pay far less in taxes, or you know your property values obviously are directly tied to that. But it came out to be Bob the amenities. You know we all appreciate the fact that we have over 200 restaurants, that we have a yeah. symphony, that we have all these great things that we wouldn't have without visitors. So you know a busy time during the summer season is a small price to pay for those <laughs> amenities. Are you planning on a very busy summer season? Anything different from the last two or is it a similar kind of, of, of drive you're seeing? Well you know we've had an unusual two years. We yes. talked about that before. Yeah. We've had an unusual two years with COVID and the pandemic and what's that done to travel and tourism. We're now we're starting to see those more normal patterns. Okay. The ones we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing that busy summer. No big secret. Our island is busy in the summer. Um, fall and spring or shoulder season, we see a little dip at that point, mm -hmm. and then we quiets down until we gear back up again next uh, April when RBC Heritage tends to be the unofficial official kickoff. Yeah, there, there you go. And, and, and so you expect to see things quiet down a little bit this fall. We'll finally get back in it because we have been, you know, it hasn't been like this. It's been like this. It We've feels had, like anyway it for has. the last two years. We've yeah. had an interesting year, and COVID changed that pattern yeah. dramatically with people working remotely, with people schooling remotely, with people utilizing their second homes. You know, a lot of people had second homes mm -hmm. here. And would you rather be in quarantine in New Jersey or would you rather be in quarantine <laughs> on Hilton Head Island? So <laughs> we did see that, but we are seeing a return to normalcy in that way in terms of the patterns of travel and tourism that we're all used to. Mm -hmm. And um, no no secret there. How about the heritage bounce? We haven't talked since, uh, since the RBC Heritage. Is there a, a bounce in interest? What a great, uh, couldn't have been a better tournament in terms of our destination. And people often ask, you know, do you advertise during the, do you do an ad or a commercial during, I'm like, why would we do that? It's an entire commercial mm -hmm. for, um, for the destination looking more beautiful than ever. So having Jordan Spieth win, was a great boon in terms of awareness, uh, lots of media coverage surrounding that, and just a picture-perfect postcard tournament for Hilton Head Island for the destination. That's great stuff. All right, good to catch up, as good to always. Catch up. Yeah. Thanks so much. Charlie Clark joining us from the uh, Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Thank you all for joining us as well, and thank you for you know paying attention for 30 minutes. If you missed anything, we're gonna be back in 90 minutes.